do you get when you take two major beauty trends, plumping eye patches and microneedling, and combine them? That's right, you get microneedle patches and they are all the rage right now. So when new skincare brand Dipology asked if I wanted to put their deep care microneedle wrinkle smoothing patches to the test, I thought this would be a good opportunity to find out just what all the fuss is about. So does adding dissolving microdarts to an eye patch make the difference when it comes to plumping and hydrating your skin? We're gonna find out. Around this time last year, I did a review on the Oya silicone skin patches, which are reusable, but didn't have microneedles. And I found them to definitely have a, a temporary plumping effect. Patches basically trap moisture under your skin. So for a few hours, your skin retains that moisture and then eventually goes back to normal. I'm gonna share a link to that review here, but the upshot was I thought they were a good idea for an occasion. Uh, although there are cheaper alternatives out there. The difference with the more expensive Oya patches was they tended to retain their stick for longer, but you can always uh, stick on patches with a bit of medical tape to prolong their use. With the benefits of microneedling becoming so well known, and I've seen some really interesting videos from other YouTubers showing how they regularly use microneedling rollers on their skin to get a great plumping and firming result. But the thing with using microneedling rollers is that you really need to frequently change the needles to avoid any chance of infection because you're penetrating the skin and also because the needles need to be sharp. So the idea of being able to incorporate microneedling in some form into a hassle-free patch, I found quite appealing because although I can see the results from a microneedling roller can be great, the hassle factor is a bit too high for me. The Dipology Microdark patches that I was sent free of charge in exchange for an independent review. And by independent, I mean impartial and free from influence. So I should say I've not been paid. I will not accept payments for any reviews on this channel. If I ever do sponsored content in the future, it would be clearly identified as such and never described as a review. Reviews should be impartial. So I received four pairs from Topology of the patches, which are currently priced at $60 or £45, so not inexpensive. They do 12 pairs for £65 or $82, and 16 pairs for $100 or £75. So bulk buying does bring the price down to, at current prices, under £5 a pair or just over $6. The makers say each patch has a thousand tiny dissolvable micro darts which penetrate beneath the surface of your skin and the darts are infused with what they call their deep care serum and that includes the all-important skin plumper hyaluronic acid as well as agarolene which is a trademarked peptide complex it has amino acids and trihalose a naturally occurring glucose which is supposed to moisturize and help keep skin hydrated this serum is formed into tiny micro dart shapes through something called a cold forming process. And once the micro darts come in contact with your skin, they dissolve to get absorbed more efficiently than a topical treatment where the serum is only applied to the outer layer of the skin. Now the makers recommend consistent use over at least six weeks for optimal results. The patches come individually wrapped. And when you open each individual pack, there's a little plastic tray inside, which you then take the patches out of, peel back a protective film strip um, that covers the sticky back of the patch, which is gonna to stick to your eye area. And within that are the tiny micro darts. And they're kind of positioned in the same way you'd get a little padded area in the center of a sticky plaster. So the darts themselves should just about cover the half moon under the eye area. And it's really important when you're applying them to line the patches up carefully to cover it up as much of that inner eye area as you can. Because as you'll see in these clips coming up, there's quite the difference between the treated and untreated skin after use. The makers also recommend you uh, wear the microneedle patches overnight for best results or for a minimum of two hours. I wore them overnight and let's take a look at how I got on. Okay, let's remove these now. It's the next morning. 
and just try and pull them very gently. You can already see where the tiny little barely visible needles have melted onto my face to leave this kind of sticky residue behind. So I'll need to wash that off and I'll just bring the camera a little closer and into the light in a second once I remove this side. Let's have a little look in the light. If I take away the residue, what can we see? So what you get with these is obviously a puffing up uh, due to the intense hydration. Um, and you've got the double whammy there of the patches holding in your own natural moisture and also then infusing your skin with moisture from um, the little dissolvable microneedles. So in my case, uh, I've got a little bit of unevenness now where this skin has, the skin has plumped around here, but where the patches haven't reached, you know, there's a contrast. It will go down. This has happened before, so I'm not that that concerned about it. It'll go down within the hour, I'm sure. Uh, but something to be aware of. And on the other side, it's, it's a little bit more even. It's a better result on the other side. Just a slight contrast there. So I'll check back in later. So it's just 20 minutes later, and, and I wanted to show you um, how quickly the indents left by the patches actually fade. So, you know, they're really starting to go. You could, when you first take them off, you can really see, the, see really clearly um, where the outline of the patches were because you've got that plumped skin, much more plumped than the rest of the skin, and it leaves quite the contrast. Whereas that's easing off, there's still contrast now where the patches were and my skin, where the patches sort of end, my own skin is because you know when you're my age late 40s plus you're going to have these very sort of that thin skin under the eyes fine lines there's quite the contrast if you don't get the patch right the way across your eye on that side i've had much more even coverage because i've been able to get the patch right across the lower eye and that means on that side i've got a really nice plumped result across the whole of the under eye with that even coverage. And you can see the contrast to before, particularly on the outer rim. And that's what you get with the, the patches. You just get that overall plumping effect. The combination of your own locked in moisture and the added boost from the dissolved microneedles. So we're a full hour in now and I just wanted to show you, to reassure you, that all the indent marks um, from the patches have all now pretty much disappeared. And actually you get a much more kind of consistent effect right across on both sides. The, the contrast is not so obvious anymore at all. Um, and particularly on this side, you know, really great result actually, just on, on a kind of smoother, plumper under eye area and this side too. You can still see a little bit where I've missed here. Lesson learned for next time. But all good. I'll link to the Depology website so you can have a look at the products yourself. I did spot a couple of complaints that said the patches fall off after a couple of hours. And I've got to say that was not my experience at all. I thought they had a very firm grip and they were still on tightly the next morning. Um, I also felt they made a clear difference, albeit temporary. Now, the makers would say that used long term, you're going to build up a cumulative effect and protect the skin from further signs of aging. For me, based on price, and also I've got to say environmental factors, because like the Oya and other skin patches, they're not recyclable. I would use these ahead of a special occasion for a, a kind of plumping boost.
Tipology also sent me some lovely gold eye patches for use during the day, which they say can make a difference in as little as 15 minutes. So I put them on before a couple of nights out and I just lay down and relax with them on my eyes for 20 minutes or so. And I thought it was a really nice way of getting a little cooling moisture boost on dry, tired eyes before I went out. And you get 60 of those in a tub. They're not reusable, but they're very lightweight and they'll last quite a while as well. Um, they're, um, they sit in a moisturizing serum so they can be very slippery and I did find them a bit tricky to keep on unless I was lying down. As far as the micro dart patches go, price-wise I would put them at mid-range. Looking on Amazon, the Icelandic brand Skin, S-K-Y-N, which is quite well known and, and usually fairly reasonably priced. They have dissolving microneedle eye patches, but uh, just a single pair per pack is priced at £14. So the Dipology ones are better value. I'm gonna link to a few options um, for microneedle patches for you to check out below. There are some cheaper ones for a pack of four. That's Patch Pro, um, do a pack of four, for example. Um, of microneedle patches for £28.99 and the reviews for them are favourable. So for me, this is all about finding the right brand for you at the right price. My take on Dipology is that they have pitched it right in the middle and you obviously get a big price benefit of buying in bulk. So overall, I would say these are effective products at pretty fair prices. I hope you found this review helpful. If you did, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and by clicking that subscribe button, you can see my next videos as soon as they're published. I always love to hear your comments and experiences and opinions. So let me know if you use microneedle patches. If so, which ones and how do they work for you? For now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.